Okay, looking at W3 Schools spaces. Just gone to their site, went on the other day and noticed it's all a bit different. You can now set up an account and it looks like you can host a subdomain site. I've always liked W3 Schools. It's something I, I always refer to if I need to um, check out some new CSS or JavaScript and it has an online editor which you can mess around with now it has something new and I've been thinking about doing videos with subdomain sites like github and um, now I've got this one it's called spaces so how do you want to create your space start with template or start with blank page first of all I'm going to look at this start with template do this later continue right we've got these I recognize all these templates they're quite old I've used that one I've used that one before I've used one or two of these before they're with W3 schools framework so you can have a site let's let's take a look take a look that one continue I don't really I don't think I'd use one I'm gonna go back first of all start with a blank page the empty page will contain the basic HMR structure continue okay step two what do you want to call your space Name your and then dub dot dub three spaces. So that would be the subdomain, like you'd have with WordPress or Wix, or whatever. The name must start with a lowercase. Yeah, I've had that. You get that one a lot. Okay, continue. Go on then, is it continuing? The name, oh, I see, I see because, maybe it's because, ah, so I had another uppercase, so tick there is correct. Okay, continue. Space named is set up. I set this up, I had to sign in with my email so you got statistics as well requests visitors data files a three I wonder what that means does it mean I've got space for three HTML files or one and a JavaScript file I don't know storage 0 0.55 kilobytes probably not very much right it's down here requests this might be your space I've received not requesting 500 requests or requests to see the site not sure yet data this month observed kilobytes of data hmm Okay, create space. Your free pan includes one space. Does that mean different sites or different files? Let's have a look. Or maybe I click here, loading. So, name. So this would be like on a hosting site where you have all the files. So index.html, so it's already given me a HTML page of 361 bits, a JavaScript file, and a CSS style sheet. 
OK. Edit. Copy full path. Right, I'm on the HTML page. So all that's on it is a HTML, I've got a header section with a title. So in here I could put name, you're going to give the website, oops dear, I've gone too far. The title of mine is Damien Fallon. Below this, I've got a link to the style sheet. In the body section, we've got a H1 header of my awesome space. So I'm going to write Damien Fallon. Then below this, load external, that's a comment. And here, a link to a JavaScript sheet. Now on my editors, if you double click, it, it, it says it will follow. It's just about to say on Expression Web or Dreamweaver, you double click, it will follow the link and it does here. So if I double click, it didn't. No. So if I hover over, control and click. So I've got to press control and it's doing bloody work. But I can do that another way. I could go back. I could go back. So, here's the preview button. And it's just going to say, maybe it's because I didn't save it. Because I, I actually put in my name there. Let's go back. Save. And preview. <clears throat> it fucking did it. Oh, th last. Hmm. Unusual there. So it's got an IntelliSense. So I click on H2. But it didn't give me the option of a closing tag. So I've got to do that myself. H, H2. It gives me an option there. So there is IntelliSense on this editor. H2 my new site. Very basic at the moment. Let's save that. Switch to dark mode option there. Looks more like an editor now, doesn't it? Move that. Preview. Damien Fallon in a H1 header, my new site. Right then, this looks good. Hypertext transfer protocol, Damien Fallon dot W3spaces.com. That's in the, in the browser there. So I presume you could put more HTML pages in if you wanted. Let's go back. I'm clicking away there. Could you add a page? I'm not sure. And as I hover over here, this will be used to the home page. Uh, 
Right, this looks pretty good. So I could go and get more HTML, put it in, or start writing from there. Could you put in another page? Edit. I'm not certain. Let's look at this page. Scripts. And there's a green comment. Place your JavaScript in this file. And that'll be the same for the CSS. A little bit of CSS for the H1. Text align center, font family, sans pro, sans serif, font weight normal. So you can build down there for the CSS style sheet. So that's a first look. Maybe it would have been better to look at a template. I wonder if I can go back. I won't bother today. That's a first look at it. I'll do some videos on that. How can, how you can ah oh, upload files. I just noticed this. Or new file, create an empty so you can create some more pages. Make a new HTML file possibly. I'll do some tutorials on that. Don't have the time now. But that's a first look at spaces W three scores.